At the H2 Ranch and Cattle Company in Madisonville, rancher Kevin Hartley has a problem. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Doesn't like the wild hogs tearing up his pastures and devouring his cattle feed. You got any idea how many there are out here? Oh, Lord. I... <clears throat> Thousands. Which is why he's best friends with neighbor Lewis Mitchell. I said, man, them things look like they're good to eat. So I started killing them to eat them. The man in the fur hat is a retired firefighter, and in his retirement... He done got that trap all turned around. Good Lord of mercy. He catches hogs. <coughs> Today, his homemade trap caught a 175-pound boar. And so far, his traps on Kevin Hartley's ranch alone... So how many just on this property? Four. Four? One, two, three, four, yeah have nabbed him 160 wild pigs in just the last month. All right, we ready to go. We're ready. But the man who hauled away one wild pig, then with his John Deere tractor and a livestock trailer, loaded up the other seven he'd caught the day before, is fighting one very big uphill battle. They'll kill you if they get a chance. The conservative estimate in Texas is at least two million wild hogs, roughly the human population of the city of Houston. So many that it's completely legal to kill Texas wild pigs every day, as many as you want, even in certain approved areas, by helicopter. But Lewis Mitchell's pigs go to market. A buyer in Singleton who sends them to a processor selling wild pig meat mostly in Europe, a European delicacy for which Lewis gets 40 cents a pound. The gas and everything, the feed, you gotta feed. You don't make that much money. Well, why do you do it? I love it. What do you love about it? The excitement. For the eight pigs he caught this week, Lewis got $122. So you're not in this for the money? No, I just love it. And it's a love that Texas wildlife officials wish more hunters would share, helping reduce a wild roaming nuisance. Another day, another dollar. Lewis is on the job one pig, one paycheck at a time, with only two million more hogs to go. In Madisonville, Kevin Reese, KHOU, 11 News.